I want to hear your thoughts and opinions about this comment on my previous video. You know that I want, I wish, I would love to have the option to use Motion Pro at custom refresh rates. Like for example, on this game right now, I can get 80 frames per second, it's not going to drop. If I can use OLED Motion Pro, that will improve the motion clarity in 62%, okay? It's like getting 62% more FPS in terms of motion. That's amazing and it feels super responsive. So that would be a dream for me. But it is right now, it is not possible because the TV does not accept a custom refresh rate if you are not using VRR. So on my previous video, I said, it's not gonna work. I asked uh, somebody who knows and he told me it's not gonna work. So yeah, there's nothing, nothing I can do. There's no hack that I can do to make this work. But LG can make it work. I am almost sure, I might be wrong, but I am almost sure this can be a firmware update. The TV doesn't have to do any changes with the Motion Pro. The only thing that the TV needs to do is to accept this custom resolutions. Let's say 70 Hertz. This is what I want. 70 Hertz, 80 Hertz, 90 Hertz, and maybe 110. But if you give me those three only, I'm happy. 70, 80, and 90, awesome. So when you have no VRR, so no G-Sync, no FreeSync on the TV, you can create a custom resolution on the NVIDIA control panel. Well, actually, if LG supports this, you don't have to create any custom resolutions. You just go to the PC resolutions. Right now, you see 120 and 100. And OLED Motion Pro right now, hi, it works at 60, 100, and 120. And there's no difference between those three refresh rates in terms of the window size. So the window size is the same, 38%. So what OLED Motion Pro High does is that it draws the picture until it has 38% of that picture and then it scrolls down and the rest is black. It scrolls it down, the rest is black, it scrolls it down, the rest is black. So it does this, you know, does this like this. And what that does is that it reduces the pixel visibility time and it improves the motion clarity. How much? 62%. Because you see 38% of the picture, uh, it reduces that uh, frame time, basically, the pixel visibility time. And I mean, it doesn't reduce the frame time here, this one. It reduces the pixel visibility time, so it improves the motion clarity. So. Here's the comment, and I want your take on this comment because I am new to social media, to be honest. I don't use Facebook. <laughs> I have one account, but I've never used it. I never, never use Twitter, Facebook, or Reddit. I am new to the internet. I come from Cuba, okay? <laughs> In Cuba, there was no internet. I have so much with YouTube that I, I don't have time to use any <laughs> other platform. So I'm completely new and I don't know how possible it is to reach out to these huge companies because LG is massive and they have no reason to give us something for free basically because we already pay them uh, the money. I mean they can do a firmware update that is, uh, they can sell the firmware update. I would buy it, <laughs> no problem. They can charge whatever they want. I will buy it and but there's I mean they have no reason really if they do this if LG listens and they do a firmware update maybe we have to go to their website and download it manually or something if they do it because this a small community here ask them and request them that and they say okay that's something easy we can do it no problem if they do that that would be huge, man. I would change the name of this channel. <laughs> I would call this channel, I don't know, LG TV for gaming or something because, wow, that's, 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 that would be an amazing move from LG. That's like, you are my customer. You are requesting me something that I can give you. 
you already pay me your money I'm going to please you as a customer that's huge man that's gigantic if LG can do that so let's take a look at the comment uh, here from Joe D he says what we all need to do is to heat up the right people over at LG that makes sense to me if we if we communicate with the right people at LG I believe we can get an answer so we all need to find the right Twitter reddit and email accounts of the people in charge of doing it and all of us need to hit them up also promote everybody we know from other sites like AVS forums R ratings subscribers of classy tech KG tech FOMO HDTV test and so on to do it too if we all bombarded them with big enough numbers then they will have to react so that that sounds beautiful to me I, I would love that I <laughs> that's that's something compelling to me that would be huge if we can do that but here's the problem I see with some of these YouTube channels that I know for example uh, classy tech I watch all his videos I learn a lot from him he's an expert but his take in motion interpolation and black from insertion is he doesn't like it because he's all about accuracy and the picture to be as perfect as possible the same for HDTV test he doesn't like <laughs> any motion interpolation and he doesn't like black from insertion because he just tells you turn that off <laughs> it just gets the pictures dark it kills the highlight details it kills the HDR motion interpolation, soap opera effects, he's not gonna use it. I don't know how they watch movies at 20 frames per se 24 frames per second to be honest because on this LG OLED that looks horrendously bad. So I much rather have motion interpolation artifacts than the terrible, horrendous stutter. It's like this. I don't know how I, I don't know the film industry is just that's a topic for another video I I cannot really understand how 24 or, or even 30 Hertz is is normal and it is what it is basically I cannot watch a movie like that to be honest it's horrendous you do a panning shot and it's just a mess a mess I don't understand millions of dollars they spend in movies for that crap that's a topic for another video so basically FOMO I think he's more like movie watching uh, more than PC gaming maybe I'm wrong he's always up to date with the pricing the new technologies and the news about the panel technologies um, KG tech not very familiar with him to be honest I've watched one or two videos but I'm not very familiar and AVS forums I don't know how it works but man, I've seen some nasty comments from AVS forums. People just fight each other for TV settings. I don't understand that. But I don't know if, if it's uh, a place where we can make a difference. Um, but yeah, that makes sense, man. That makes sense. And I would really love for that to happen. And I don't think there's nothing fancy that needs to happen nothing fancy OLED Motion Pro High is 38% window size if my calculation is correct and I strongly believe it is <laughs> but you know let's say it's 35% or 40% um, same it's improving motion clarity huge in a huge way and also at 60 Hertz it flickers but once you go over 70 or maybe 80 percent the flickering is gonna be gone like no flickering so uh, that's awesome for PC gaming like there's no reason I would use 60 ever if I can use 70 and get rid of the flickering completely almost completely I mean the visible flickering the flickering is there that's what is improving the motion clarity to begin with uh, so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions uh, like I said I am new to this um, you know social media world and 
uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work but I would really like to get an answer from LG and and get this working but again LG has no reason to do that we already paid them their money but it would be such a amazing move from LG like wow I would be praising LG until the end of time <laughs> if they do this I would be like there's no the LG okay you don't have to look at any other companies I mean LG after two years for you know listen to a request from this small community and LG gave us what we wanted it's just insane like I say I mean I say PR like amazing like I, I don't know I don't have words to describe that it would be such a huge friendly customer friendly move because that cost money for them we already pay them their money they never promised this but if if they can do it and if something simple enough for them and they say you know what let's do it let's do it this channel here I promise <laughs> I promise LG I would be like LG is the best no competition the best firmware updates and they do this kind of stuff amazing that would be huge 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 so yeah let me know if you have um, you know any suggestions um, and what do you think about this and this is uh, one of the best games ever in my opinion top 10 for sure in my list top 10 Kina Bridge of Spirits if you've never played it's a must this game the gameplay on this game is they knocked it out of the park these developers Ember Labs knocked it out of the park with this game absolutely amazing gameplay just amazing um, so yeah I'm really w looking forward to the part 2 or just another IP from them so yeah let me know uh, your thoughts and opinions and yeah